stop what you're doing right now and go grab a bottle of Miracle Food, suitable for all ages, the perfect cleanse and reboot, and it promotes a healthy immune system. Created by some of the most powerful superfoods on the planet, Miracle Food in this day and age is perfect for you. Don't wait. ChakraDoctor.org. Go grab your bottle of Miracle Food right now. Let them know Viral Hip Hop News sent you. Let's go. It seemed like an immediate thing. <laughs> you do whatever the fuck you want to do, man. But that's it, man. Just yeah. That's it, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out. Hopefully, you know, we all want him to get to school. And, yep. and we want we want the kids to be helped right here, period, period, at the end of the day. Period. And if he came and showed us a business plan, we would fucking donate our money. So I don't want to hear shit. Yep. And Transparency, damn it. Hope and promote and do whatever else the fuck you needed. Yep. That's what it's all about, man. But until then, we'll just let people complain in the comment section. Oh, God. Let's talk about Joe Button, man. Yeah. Joe Button podcast now we talked about this about a month or so ago when it seemed like there was some turmoil with the group and we called it man and we didn't yeah. call it to say that we showing off or call it to say that we happy about it because ain't nobody happy about nobody losing some business joe button had a good podcast but it's over it's over mm. now rory uh well, no, before i get to rory his comment let me play a little bit of what oh, yeah, joe yeah, button yeah. had to say for a couple minutes and then i'll give rory's response All right, so let me read this old guy before we get your thoughts real quick. Yeah. Now, this is from R, the Joe Budden podcast. I'm not sure, exactly sure who wrote this, and I'm not sure all of this is 100% accurate, but I want to get perspective. Rory wanted ownership when the Spotify deal came up. Joe said no. Rory wanted to get paid from YouTube. Joe said no. Rory wanted to know the details of the Spotify deal. Joe said no. Joe called Rory entitled for wanting to know the basics of the business deal. Joe said Rory isn't allowed to question him because he has final say in everything. Joe said Rory tried to audit the Joe Button podcast and he removed him from Patreon. Joe said Maul wanted to audit the, all the finances and Joe said no. It's dead if you got to audit your friend. Joe pretty much called Rory and Maul overpaid bozos who overplayed their hands. AK damn near said the same exact thing weeks ago verbatim when this drama first started. Interesting in my opinion. Shit's crazy. Joe was going on a passionate Spotify rant for 20 episodes with Rory and Maul nodding along, and they didn't even know the details of their deal. This is crazy. These mother effers discussing Megan Thee Stallion's contract issues and didn't even know their own paperwork. These ends are hypocrites. This is the wildest episode ever, and Joe's just trying to control the narrative and paint Rory and Maul as greedy and selfish for wanting to make sure their business was up to par. Ian and Parks are on some bitch shit, but that's some personal stuff. Um, all right, and that, that's pretty much it. Now, right. Rory mm -hmm. said this on IG today. He said, man, what an air. Thank you to everyone that listened, supported, told their friends about us, bought a subscription ticket of merch. Any value starts and ends with y'all. I'll get to the message shit soon, but in the meantime, I'm here to celebrate an amazing run love. End of an era is over. Oh, God, what do you think? Man, you know, first, you know, what rings, you know, to me, it was like that little that guy on your shoulder is when Joe, Joe Button says, you're in breach of your contract. So if 
you're in breach of your contract, that must be it must mean that there's a contract in place. Mm-hmm. Which being that contract, how much the splits are, how mm-hmm. much Joe gets, how much this person gets. I'm just assuming that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Obviously, and there's breach, you know, things in there where if you do this, the contract ends. You know, um, so if that if that's to say if that's to say that's not the case. That you know, there you know, is this dispute about the money and everything. This should have been handled in the very beginning. Whenever they move from one you know uh, entity to another entity, it probably was a new contract form. These guys should have been up on their business. Now, I, I don't, we don't know, we don't have a lot of details to rock out with right here. But obviously, there's some type of rift going on between these guys, and it's about money. It should have been handled beforehand. You can't come after the fact. You know, and just because your friend and say, okay, you know, I'm supposed to be getting this, I'm pulling out, you know, this, that, and the third, and you ain't getting it, and then you want to come and get it. It's like you should have handled that in the beginning. Now, on the other side of the thing, I've actually been in a situation like this, you know, a few different times where people think that they're entitled to more than what they put in. That's why it's always good to have something written out in the beginning. Say, okay, Joe Button's getting 50, he's getting 20, this person's getting 10, the other person's getting this. If you don't have that, you're always going to run into this because now the podcast is getting bigger. You know, you're getting different sponsors and shit. So you sitting back like, well, damn, well, I'm only making this. I'm wondering what's going on here. I'm not mad at him for getting the shit audited. Any smart person would do that. But if you don't have in writing or verbal what you're supposed to be cut out, you're assed out. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel about that. But I do want to wait to get a little bit more information before we really, really go in on this. But that's just kind of surface level. Yeah, my surface level opinion on this is this, man. This is called the Joe Budden Podcast. Damn. And years ago, and in joking, even when we were sitting in the old set, we kind of warned Worry and Mom. We don't know them um, them, them men. We don't know them brothers. So got no problem with them. But when it's called the Joe Budden Podcast, it's his. It's just that simple. When, I, I, I love this, right? Because people don't even realize what we got going on, and eventually they will. Mm-hmm. But when somebody hits you in your email, or somebody hits me in my email, they don't say, oh, I want to fuck with Omar. Oh, I right. want to fuck with Ant. They say, I want to fuck with y'all. Right, right. Because yep. they know it's us. It's 50, it's 50. Mm-hmm. He gets 50% of the conversation, I get 50% of the conversation. There isn't, oh, featuring Sam, Sam featuring up. So when you have right. the situation... It's like, and, and like Charlamagne said years ago, it's kind of like Destiny Child getting together and they say Beyonce featuring Kelly and Michelle. Nah, Chief. It don't work like that. Yeah. If you don't bring anything to the table, your ass eventually will end up biting the hand that feeds you. Damn. You got to bring something to the table. And yeah. all of you brought with some good opinions and some great ad-libs, no disrespect to you, brothers, we all know how Joe roll. It's only a matter of time that we go, I'm tired of this shit, I'm moving on. Yeah. That's what he did, and I ain't surprised. So do you think... You know, without really knowing, yeah. like, what's your gut feeling? Do you think that, you know, Joe went in and just kind of just broke them off without a contract? Or do you think they had something in place? I think that they had something in place. And I also think there's a lot that doesn't go, like, we don't know who's paying them lawyers. We don't know who's oh, yeah. paying the, the engineers and this and that. There's a lot of money that gets flowed. Joe has true, a true. staff true, and true. lawyers and money that has to get flown out. So if they weren't involved, like me and you, we got this building. We split this shit. We put out, you know what I mean? Right, so if right. they weren't putting out the bread... Right. You don't deserve to recoup. And yeah, we don't yeah. we don't know. If they well, in the same sentence, if they did, then they do deserve it and they do deserve to take it further. We don't know. So they, yeah. Sorry to cut they said I mean you, you would think that they had an LLC, but like you said, it's probably Joe Button Joe Biden. LLC. Yep. And they though he they probably get a paycheck from that shit. Yep. Most likely instead of them all being partners in the LLC. Personally, I have uh I just finished a faith based film called Playhouse. Uh, that was in the theater for a brief moment, but it's on the Win Network. It's a free streaming service, but you do have to pay a fee for that film because it's a new film called The Playhouse. And then I have another film uh, called uh, Two Wolves. Uh, I think one of my best roles, uh, Mikhail Shannon Jenkins. That's one of my former pro- protégés who's I'm about to do another film with him. And uh, he's a force to be dealt with, you know, talking about a believer in Christ and yet father, strong father, strong black man, you know. Uh, and so we had we did two wolves. That's on Tubi. That's another free streaming service. Uh, we also was on Amazon. Um, we have a film called The Gods on Amazon uh, and uh, The Chosen. 
that's also on, on Amazon. And uh, and again, I'm about to do a new film with him where he has all this young cast. These young kids are Latino, black, white. They are amazing, man. So that's I'm playing the OG in this one. Uh, I am going to Comic Con, Pensacon. I'll be in Pensacon in Florida, uh, May 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. I'll be there for that. Uh, so I'm always excited to meet the fans and uh, uh, and my my you know the the book from Raj to Riches. Um, I'm getting. I just asked Jamie Fox, as a matter of fact, <laughs> to be a producer. Uh, I'm waiting for his, and he's been really nice, you know, but I'm waiting to see. I would like to get to do a documentary and, and then actually a gospel musical from Rod to Riches, you know, based on my life. Um, and then I want to make that transition, if you will, from producer to, to producer, because I care a lot and I want to underwrite young brothers and sisters they don't do a song and dance you ain't got to sleep with me you ain't got to worship me you ain't got to kiss my butt just be prolific be professional who you are and uh just get the paperwork together and make it happen i really want i'm asking god for that and and i know that's gonna happen i want to as as uh ron howard did and and uh, and Meathead from the and Sanford, uh, from all in the family, uh, Rob Reiner. Uh, I definitely would love to be behind the scenes now, uh, uh, and still do a film whenever. But that that's the goal. But right now, the Playhouse, uh, Two Wolves, um, uh, and the Chosen. You know, you can you can see those on the Amazon, Tubi, and the Win Network. Awesome. Awesome. My last question will be, you know, to you, because it's, tr it's truly a blessing to live, you know, a long age, Absolutely. 70s, 80s, 90s. Yeah. What is your secret to success and just, you know, having longevity in Hollywood and in life as well? Well, first, I'll say Jesus Christ. I know people say, oh, man, you such a Bible thumper. I said, no, because I'm tr I cuss and all that. I'm a I'm a sinner knocking at heaven's door, you know, <laughs> uh, and I think God loves it. I'm real. I know he ain't done with me yet. I, I The secret is it's I have love for people, man. Yo, man, this is Sam Ant, CEO of Viral Hip Hop News. Listen, I appreciate each and every one of y'all who are going to check out this documentary. Shout out to my man, Lonnie Fresh. Do me a favor, go to YouTube right now, go subscribe to Viral Hip Hop News, one of the best hip hop platforms out here right now. We also have the hub, Hip Hop News Uncensored, of course, the podcast, the baddest podcast out, the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. We drop seven days a week doing this thing 100% independent. There was not one day that I was at work on the Fresh Prince of Bad Ass, but I wished I was somewhere. Now, let's talk about the Players Club because you, I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, that's like your first major role in a movie, right? Taking over the game. I really appreciate each and every one of y'all. You can grab merch on the YouTube site. You can talk to me on there and much more. Sam Ant, CEO of Viral Hip Hop News. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. Oh God, you the man, Cass. I spit white like a clan mask. And I'm a hustler.